past two decades, we had seen a big change in steel making. The steel making, which was earlier just confined to arc furnaces, had taken a leap jump by introducing blast furnace gases. With this, we had a lot of blast furnace gas, which is uh, cheaply available to the steel industry. But most of the time, blast furnace gas cannot be used as an energy because of its lean quality. It is a very lean gas, low caloric, caloric gas. So burning it, the gas is a big problem. Now, what we devised in NCON was a methodology where we can use this blast furnace gas into reheating furnaces. You, introducing those, we have, need to introduce either oxygen enrichment or oil uh, supplementary as a fuel so that the flame is always sustained. Now what we are going to showcase you is a, a furnace which is a top and bottom heating furnace. Why a bottom heating furnace? Because if we have to go for thicker slabs beyond 130 millimeters in cross section, we have to go through top and bottom heating. Only bottom heating can lower the quality of the final product. That's our experience and our learning what we had with companies like Tara Steel, ISWPL and various other companies. Now this particular furnace what we are showcasing if you see is this is the blown diagram or blown sketch of a top and bottom heating furnaces. In this furnace the pipeline which is shown in the green color is going to be our uh, oil line. The yellow is the blast furnace. Uh, the uh, Byte is the air pipeline and uh, there are two waste heat recovery systems. One is for heating the uh, blast furnace gas and the other one is heating for air preheating. Till the time we don't have both the preheatings at place, we cannot use blast furnace gas in the furnaces. Now blast furnace gas which is available free of cost to us can be used very judiciously, but you have to plan your combustion volumes accordingly. Now, let me run through this furnace. On the, this is a complete top and bottom heating furnace. The portion which is slid up at the end is the soaking zone. The first, uh, the, uh, the portion of the furnace on the left hand side is the heating zone of with the top and bottom heating. The bottom heating is what, what you are looking at, which is absolutely uh, uh, observable now. But if the furnace is there, you won't make out that these are all water cool skids. So, uh, we have on the ends, there are some, uh, there are around uh, burners which fire blast furnace gas, oil, or oil and blast furnace gas totality in, in together and the producer gas which is produced from the coal. So these are multi fuel burners which can use either as producer gas as a fuel or BF plus oil as a fuel and if you want to use only BF what we are doing is we are just giving oxy enrichment. Now that's the system which we can run the furnace only with the waste gas that's a blast furnace gas also.